What is up, everybody? It is me, Copter, with another episode of Supercard, and let's get into business. <clears throat> so first and foremost, congratulations to everybody who was able to get the Nikki Bella card, especially if you're going for Nikki and Bree. That, <laughs> that whole gap was ridiculously crazy. Um, there was a bunch of people that were ranked in the same area like i stopped at 215 and as you just saw my score was 360 i believe let me see so let's see if we can see anybody i know kill moose kill was pretty much he was super close to not making it for the nikki and Bree. there's juwazi what up my homie Juwazi actually made it. Good thing. Um, there I was. So I was 370. So I dropped down 100 and... What is that? Um, 155 spaces? Like, that's crazy. I've never had anything where it was that big of a difference. Uh, let's see if we can see anybody else. Uh, <laughs> nope, nobody else. Shout outs to Katie Sweets. <laughs> he was, he was ranked 552, which is, which sucks for him. But, I mean, hey man, it is what it is. Um, let's see, Dark Side Phil, what up, Double D, Hero, Ozzy, congratulations. Uh, there's Jonathan. 14,000, um, let's see, Degney, what up, Radish, my boy, Zahid, my second boy, Mr. Turbo himself, uh, let's see, and autographs, so, and Adnan, what up, making his top 50, so that is really good. So congratulations to all of y'all. Um, I was able to get them. Sorry, Charlotte, you didn't win. I guess you holding the title it doesn't make a difference. People just love them some Nikki. So I got my Nikki. Uh, why is that like that? Let me see. Um, so I was able to pro my Cameron. Got her fully proed. I also pulled a... Oh, there's my Brie. She's fully proed. I'm in the process of making her uh, all the way pro. Just got a few more things to stat up. Um, let's see. My I'm working on my Brie right now. And then I pulled a Dean Ambrose. So he will be the next person I start working on. So... That's cool. I don't like any of Dean Ambrose's pictures in the Epic or Legendary. Uh, he looks retarded, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> and there's my Nikki. She is already all the way up. So I just put power, power, tough, tough. Um, I know in my ultra rare Nikki, I gave her some um, some speed. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with the next Nikki. So... I may give her some speed, or maybe I'll just give her charisma, and I'll give her some power toughness. Uh, I definitely want her to go crazy in power toughness, because I do have my Cameron, the Legendary Pro, or Epic Pro Cameron right now, and she's speed and charisma, so um, I may just have her in use for that. <sighs> so, that is about it, as far as pulls go. Um... She's super sexy. I love the fact that I have her. And to make things better now, because they were going to get worse for me, um, because I thought this week was going to be ring domination, and I was asking my friend, Kill Moose Kill, what does it take to be in the legendary tier? Well, he had told me that it take at least two legendary pros and then some epic pros. And I started thinking about it, and I was like, you know what? I do only have one Epic Pro, and the rest are Ultra Rare Pros, and I have some Epic, and yeah, I have some Legendaries, but I think, honestly, I wouldn't have been able to get in Legendary. So I was super pissed about that, but then 
Cat Daddy released their Twitter feed, which says that this next one will be a road to glory. Sweet chin music to my ears. That is beautiful. I don't mind busting out plus twos all the way. That is fine. I can play this damn game for that long. So that just reassures me that I'm guaranteed getting Miss Nikki Bella pro Now, I get it. It sucks for the people who are hardcore at this game and they are all about um, making it, I guess, fair. Because in reality, it should be a ring domination. I mean, as much as I hate to admit it, ring domination should be coming up. It should be only going to those people that are actually eligible to be in legendary tier. And it's not. This is literally going to make them a shitload of money. Because if you got this legendary Nikki, you can get her pro now. Because we all know that Road to Glory is pretty much an easy road to get the card as long as you spend the money if you aren't already in the legendary tier if you're already in the legendary tier and you're rocking like a full legendary deck which some people are then it's easy peasy it's free for you you if you want to get through it quick then yeah you can spend money to do plus tens yada 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 but for the average player like me i'm gonna have to spend money um, depending on how I want to get it. So right now I'm debating if I want to just do plus tens at the beginning or if I want to go ahead and wait, save some money, and then do plus, like, I'm going to need money to do plus twos because that's going to suck to do 100, which would mean I'd have to do 390 games or something like that if I was to, I forgot what they have the legendary at now. But regardless, the point is I'm going to do it because I'm going to get my Nikki Pro, and it's going to be amazing. So here we go. So right now in Legendary King of the Ring, I am 19 and 5. Those uh, four came from when I was sleeping, but now that I'm awake, I've only lost once, and that was whenever I wasn't near my phone. I've been able to uh, fully charge my people throughout the whole game, so that's crazy. I was number three earlier, but now it looks like I'm number one. So that's pretty cool. So shout out to any of these people, if you are any of these people. There you are. So shout out if you're any of those. Um, hopefully, I win this or I at least get an epic. And when that epic comes, hopefully, I at least get an epic that can be proed. Um, I have a lot of epics, so I should be able to. We'll see. So let's go ahead and play five games. This is my current lineup right now because I'm powering up uh, Bray. Or at least I'm trying to, as well as my Bree. So we'll play five games. Let's see how we do. Let's go. How did all of y'all do? Uh, congratulations to my boy, Kill Moose Kill. He was able to get it. He was super close to the borderline, so shout outs to him. Um, and yeah, so me and him were pretty much going back and forth. <coughs> and then we kind of just, uh, we went our separate ways, which I did a little bit better. Um, because of the fact that, uh, yeah, I basically had a better strategy. <laughs> uh, what did y'all think of Hell in the Cell? Um, was it just me, or did a lot of those matches feel rushed? Like, the main ones felt rushed. Like, the whole John Cena thing, I didn't like the fact that Alberto Del Rio beat him so quickly, and was such a weak move. Um... It was just kind of, it was just weak sauce to me because, I mean, John Cena's kicked out of so many moves. And the fact that a kick to the face beat him, it just doesn't seem believable. I'm glad Alberto Del Rio's back. I don't mind him winning the United States champion. I saw it coming because John Cena's already been talking about um, leaving for a while to take some vacation time. But it should have been more of an epic match, but it wasn't. The uh, Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar, that match just felt rushed too. I don't like the fact that half of the match is them trying to stand up. Like, I get it. You're going through harsh. Like, 
you are going through a brutal beat down. Uh, you are beating the crap out of each other. Cool. But when the whole match is y'all trying to stand up, like, come on now. Let's make it realistic, not a stupid party. Because that's literally what it felt like. But whatever. Um, but still, I like that Brock Lesnar won. Um, the whole Bray thing, I really hope it's not another Bray versus Undertaker at WrestleMania. That's super stupid. Um, I honestly want it to be Sting versus Undertaker at a WrestleMania. They can both retire off that match, off into the sunset. Sting, he's awesome. Like, that dude seems like a legit, genuine guy. And the match that he's always been talking about this far is his dream match has always been facing The Undertaker. So I feel like we should definitely give it to him and let that be his last match. Like, why not do it on the grandest stage of them all? WrestleMania, Undertaker and Sting. Even if Sting loses again, which they haven't let him win once. Undertaker can retire on top. Sting can have his dream match. Because Sting really doesn't care. It's not like he's going for a title. And then Sting can retire. He did get pretty badly beaten up with Seth, as we all saw. But, I mean, he's a warrior. He's old. Like, he's not going to win a title. So just, just call it, man. That's all I'm saying. Give the boy his dream match. He deserves it. He came into our business. Might as well. Well, I say ours like if I'm part of it. But he came into the business. That's already good enough for me. Sting's the man. I like him. Never really cared for him before. Yeah, he was a cool looking character, but I never really followed him. But now that I've really kind of looked into him and everything, I really like him. So I hope he gets his dream match one day before he retires. And I hope it's good. I hope it's like not goodly done, but I hope it's done correctly. Because he at least deserves that. So we'll do one more game and then we'll call it all in my rants. I know I like to go during the rants. Plus, I've had some alcohol. I work at a brewery now, so I always have alcohol in me. I'm becoming a little G. Shout out to Little G. I didn't know YouTube was going to post our whole freaking stream, so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope some people use that for grinding material, um, but I do apologize. I did not know it was going to post, so I need to figure out how to uh, disable that just because some streams I'm not going to want to freaking post, but it did. I saw a lot of y'all looked at it, so I appreciate that very much. Um, but yeah, so hope you enjoyed that. Hope you're able to uh, enjoy <laughs> what we did. But yeah, so Little G is kind of coming back with some random videos, so check out his channel um, as well as Kill Moose Kill. Kill Moose Kill is the man. Um, he's awesome. He's one of my dudes. And then of course Edward. All of y'all know Edward. I mean. He's on a more grander stage than I am, so definitely check him out as well. And yeah, so until next time, uh, get at me. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, let me know. On Twitter, at SuperCardCopter. Always reply to everybody. It was cool to see everybody. I actually followed some more people in there, so that's cool to you. And uh, yeah, so... This week is a road to glory. Are you excited? Are you not? Um, is it kind of like whatever, Cat Daddy? Is this your timing of being like, F you, Cat Daddy? Or is it more like me where I'm like, thank God. Yeah, you're screwing a bunch of people, but you're not screwing me. You actually made my job easier. So thank you so much, Cat Daddy. But yeah, so until next time, I'm Copter, and I will see you. What's today? Monday? So I'll see you t maybe tomorrow. Yeah, why not? This is the second video up today, so yeah, definitely. Thank you all for watching. Peace. Uh